Hello, today you're gonna see how to apply a texture to colorize your particles. So when they land in the final position, they will have uh, the color of the texture that you choose. Let's create a very basic type flow. Press X, type flow. Right click, press set, icon type flow. Let's move it a little bit up, 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. Auto key, let's to go to frame 40 and rotate this. It's okay. Next, we apply physics shape. So now they fall in the ground. And also let's put a rotation to give some randomness. We can move it even a little bit higher. The count, let's put 40. And for now, 1500 particles. The speed along icon arrow, we can put experiment, but five, let's see how it will behave. 10. That looks better. Now we can apply 15,000 particles. In the shape, I, I'd like to give a 50% variation in the size. Not bad. So the next step to apply the texture, we need to cache it. So press tab. Export particles. You choose the path of the particles, but by default is in your documents. And then generate tie cache files. Now that this is created, we can turn off the tie flow, the event, because now we have the cache. Here is the trick. Select your tie cache, your icon there, and then you apply UVW map. In my case, I choose a planner and click to fit. I'm gonna play with this. Let's choose a image. With your bitmap applied, you can drag and apply this to your tie cache. If you not see, you can show. Click here, so you're gonna show the particles what's happening. Let's adjust how it will look in the final. So you go to UV map, click on gizmo, and then you can rotate and adjust the image that you want. So yeah, I let it be like that. Although the final is what we want, the process is not true because this is just like being projected from the top, you see? Now that we have the final image as we want, we're gonna apply tie UVW freeze. Then we choose the frame that you want. Can be will be the last one. Freeze. And now it's not being projected anymore from the top. You can see that now each particle has been assigned with a texture. You see this, for example. You can see here from the beginning the difference that it makes. So it doesn't matter the path that the particle will follow, it will always have that texture assigned. So that's it. See you next one.